Back now with the round table. Let's go quickly around the table. George, what's on your radar this week? As the immigration debate intensifies, two Republican names to look for. Raul Labrador from Idaho, Hispanic background. Concern, for example, about the house. access to health care for people who are illegals made legal. Orrin Hatch, Republican of Utah, worried about back taxes to be paid. These are just examples of the kind of amendments that are going to clog up the works. Okay, the Fed getting wimpy. Uh, a few months back, we had the Fed seeming to send strong signals that it was really going to do everything it could to boost the economy, to boost employment, that it was not worried about inflation. And for the last week or so, we've been getting signals, intentional or not, that suggest, well, you know, maybe not so bad. Maybe we'll start tapering. That's the word that we have right now, which is affecting expectations really badly, not what we wanted you to think hear. It's too early for that. Looking at, as you know, the awful tragedy in Santa Monica where the people got killed that would happen, I'm hoping that we're going to revisit this conversation about guns, especially in light of the idea that basically we're willing to give up civil liberties to potentially protect and have people access all these kinds of records, but we're unwilling to give up some sense of civil liberty to take guns out of the hands. And one of the things that really concerns me is what is going on with white males? Predominantly, this is being done by white males between 18 and 30 years old. I hope we can revisit this issue. Hope. Not a lot of evidence is going to happen right now. I'm looking forward to people starting to call government waste government stealing because that's what it is. So many Americans have to debate whether to spend $1,000 to fix a leaky roof, but the government wastes money in these conferences. Let's start calling them parties. They're not conferences. And I want journalists to stop thinking, well, it's just $4 million. It's chump change. That's not chump change. To real Americans, even $1,000 is a lot of money. Student loan rates uh, on Stafford loans are due to double um, by July 1st if Congress does not act. I'm hoping people will say something. We've got to try to make sure that the university doors stay open and people are not priced what out. What is happening? Do you think that's going to move by the end of the month? Well, you know what? I'm mentioning it to you because I'm hoping and doing everything okay. I can to get us to focus. But it's not just the interest loan rates doubling. It's also just the general cost of going to college. It's beyond what most Americans can pay for. You can't work your way through college anymore today. And I know you're going to stick around and answer questions on our WebEx for coming up. Thank you all for a terrific discussion today. And now we honor our fellow Americans who serve and sacrifice. This week, the Pentagon released the names of seven soldiers killed in Afghanistan. That is all for us today. Thanks for sharing part of your Sunday with us. Check out World News with David Muir tonight, and I'll see you tomorrow on GMA.